All right, hello, and welcome to your first official video for Math 102. Um, today we're going to do a topic called logic and then move on to Venn diagrams. So um, what I would like to do first is if you get out your Math 102 course pack and flip to page seven, we're going to start with some logic puzzles. So let me try to show you this at the same time here. Okay, so I'm on page seven and it says team building activities on top. I wanna look at specifically races here. And this is the kind of puzzle that we're gonna do. What I wanna look at first is what it says here. It says Amy, Megan, David, and Ed finished the 10K race. Their last names were Gonzalez, Jackson, Liz, Lynn, and Smith Perez. From the clues below, match the first and last names and determine who finished first, second, third, and fourth. And then it gives you some information. It says Lynn would have finished higher if she had not slipped at the start of the race. Ed finished ahead of Smith Perez, but behind Megan. Jackson's brother was proud of his sister's finish. Amy finished behind Gonzalez. And David did not finish third. So the way these videos are going to work, I kind of mentioned on our Zoom meeting yesterday, I need you to take notes and pretty much write down everything that I do as proof that you watch the video. And then in a few minutes, I'm going to give you some questions to try on your own. And I'm going to want you to show me your attempt and then my notes that I give after that showing you the correct answer and the way to do it. Um, at the end of the video, as proof that you finished this video, you're going to send me all of your notes along with any homework assignments that I give. And that's just due by 11.59 p.m today, the day this video is assigned. Okay, so it's up to you. If you want to do the notes over here, if you can write really small, that's fine. I'm going to take a separate sheet of paper and do it that way. And just keep yourself organized so I know what you're looking at. So we're going to call this page seven and races. Okay, and let me move it up right there. The strategy we're going to use with these logic puzzles is in order to, we have two things to do. We have to match the first and last names, and we have to determine who finished first, second, third, and fourth. So in order to do that, the best way that I've found to do it is to make tables. And then we can kind of take the information we have and translate it into that table and mark off things that can be true and things that aren't true until we get down to what has to be true. So since there's two different things we're looking at here, I'm going to make two different tables. First table, I'm gonna put Amy, Megan, uh, David, and Ed. Okay, so we're gonna have that right here. We wanna match those names with their last names. So the last names are Gonzalez, Jackson, Um, Lynn, and just a brief meeting here so I don't run out of room, Smith Perez. Okay, so that's one piece. Now we also are looking to match where they finish, first, second, third, or fourth. So I'm going to make a second table over here. Again, I'm going to put Amy, Megan, David, Ed, and I want to know first, second, third, or fourth. Okay, now let's see if we can take the information that was given to us and fill out these charts. First it says, Lynn would have finished higher if she had not slipped at the start of the race. So basically what this is telling us is that Lynn is not first. But I don't know who is Lynn yet, so it doesn't really help. We'll come back to it. Ed finished ahead of Smith Perez, but behind Megan. So this tells us a couple things. For one thing, Ed, if he's ahead of Smith Perez, Ed can't be Smith Perez. So when I see Ed and Smith Perez, I'm going to put an X there, say it's not that person. Also over here, Ed finished ahead of somebody, 
So he's not fourth place, but he also finished behind somebody, behind Megan. So he's not first place. Okay. So that also kind of tells us something about Megan. If Ed finished behind Megan, could Megan have finished fourth? Nope. Okay, so you can see how there's different pieces of information you can kind of extract from it. Amy finished behind Gonzalez. Okay, so where's the X gonna go in the Amy row? Gonzalez. And also she finished behind Gonzalez. So Amy couldn't have finished first because she finished behind somebody. And the last thing is pretty straightforward. It just says Amy did not, or David did not finish third. So David's not third. All right. So from here, I know that Megan is either first or David is first because no one else could be. I know that the only people who could finish last are Amy or David. But there's not enough information to definitively say anything. So what I do at this point usually is I usually go back and look at what else may, maybe I missed. And right away I'm looking at this first thing and I see some stuff I could fill out. Lynn would have finished higher if she had not slipped at the start of the race. So Lynn is a she. So Lynn is not David. Lynn is not Ed. Okay, and she would have finished higher if she had not slipped at the start. Okay. Next up, we've got that Ed finished ahead of Smith Perez. So he finished ahead of somebody, but behind Megan. So we know Ed is one of these middle spots here. I don't really think more we can get there. Ooh, I think Jackson, we can get some stuff. Jackson's brother was proud of his sister's finish. So Jackson has a brother, but that brother was proud of his sister's finish. So Jackson is a female also. So Jackson can't be this person, can't be this person. And now something great just happened. Anyone see what it is? Ed has to be Gonzalez. There's no other option in that row. So now kind of a domino effect starts to happen. If Ed is Gonzalez, that means David and Megan aren't. But now what just happened? Well, David has to be Smith Perez, which means Megan and Amy are not. Okay, so we're getting there. Let's see if I can go through these one more time and maybe figure some more stuff out. Lynn would have finished higher if she had not slipped at the start of the race. Okay, so Lynn we know is either Amy or Megan. She would have finished higher if she had not slipped. So she wasn't first, and that still doesn't really help. Ed finished ahead of Smith Perez. So that means Ed finished ahead of David, but behind Megan. Okay, well, let's look at what just happened. Ed finished ahead of David. Well, Ed can only finish second or third. If he finished ahead of one person, ahead of David, if he was here, he would have finished ahead of David if he was in fourth place. So, but if he was here, well, he would have also finished ahead of David. Okay, so maybe that doesn't help. He also has to be behind Megan. So keep that in mind. Megan has to be ahead of him. We've got that Amy finished behind Gonzalez. So Amy finished behind Ed. So if Amy was second, she couldn't finish behind Ed. So that's out. If Amy was third, could she finish behind Ed? Yeah, potentially. If Amy was fourth, she could also finish. Okay, but that just got rid of one piece. You know, David did not finish third. And again, I'm kind of stuck. 
So when I get stuck, which does happen on these, we have to just go through it again. Eventually there's something that you're missing and there's something that you'll find. So let's read these again, because I think we're missing something. Maybe some of you have already found it. Lynn would have finished higher if she had not slipped at the start of the race. So Lynn would have finished higher if she had not slipped at the start of the race. Amy could be Lynn, because she could finish higher. If Megan's first, she can't finish any higher, so she couldn't be Lynn. But if Megan was one of these two, she could still have finished higher. So, okay, that's not quite there yet. Ed finished ahead of Smith Perez, but behind Megan. So, Ed again is ahead of David. So, huh, what does that tell us? If Ed is ahead of David, could David have finished here or here? I think that's what we were missing. No, because if David finished in either of these spots, Ed couldn't finish ahead of him. So that means David has to be here. Okay, think about that again. Ed finished ahead of Smith Perez, and remember Smith Perez, we already figured out was David. So Ed has to finish ahead of David. So David couldn't be here or here because then Ed couldn't finish ahead of him, but behind Megan. Okay, so now that I know that David is fourth, this person can't be fourth, which means Amy was third, which crosses these two out. Here's the domino effect happening. That has to be here. That has to be here. Okay, we're almost there. Lynn would have finished higher if she had not slipped at the start of the race. Megan can't finish any higher than first place. So Megan can't be Lynn, right? Lynn would have finished higher if she had not slipped. Megan finished as high as she could. So Amy must be Lynn, which means Megan is Jackson. Okay, so let's write out the answers and then double check and make sure we got it right. I would say we have Amy Lynn, and she finished third. We have Megan Jackson, and she finished first. We have David Smith Perez, and he finished fourth. And finally, we have Ed Gonzalez, and he finished second. Now what you should do at this point is take your answers and double check everything that we wrote. Lynn would have finished higher if she had not slipped at the start of the race. That's conceivable. She came in third, she could have done higher. Ed finished ahead of Smith Perez. Ed was second, Smith Perez was fourth, but behind Megan, who was first. Yep, that's true. Jackson's brother was proud of his sister's finish. Well, Megan came in first, so I'd be proud of her finish too. Amy finished behind Gonzalez. Amy was third, Ed Gonzalez was second. Yup, that happened. David didn't finish third. Yup, so we got it. Okay, so that was kind of a tricky one because there were two tables. I'm gonna give you some to try now and make a table like I showed you here and then I'll go over the answers once you've had a chance to try them. But let's talk about them for a second, which ones I want you to try. First one I'd like you to do was on this page two that we did mostly in class yesterday, but number six. So number six was the only one we didn't do on the Zoom meeting. Remember I said we'd be coming back to it. So read through this and make a table. You only need one table for this one. So that's the first one I want you to do. Second one you should try is on page eight. Page eight's called puzzles, so just try number two. Just number two is all you need to do. And that stops here. Okay. And then the last one I want you to try for now is on page nine. 
It's called More Problems For You, but I only want you to do the ladies' luncheon. So again, make a table, try to answer those questions. Now, how I want you to do these. Again, if you want to try to fit them in on the page, totally fine. I would prefer to use an extra page, and that's how I'm going to do when we go over it. But what I need you to do, like let's say the first one I would suggest you try is that page two one. So here's page two, number six. So page two, number six. I'm gonna give you some time right now. I'm gonna say pause the video. And I'm gonna say take anywhere between 15 and 20 minutes and try these three problems. You might get stuck and that's totally fine. There's no judgment if you get stuck. But I do want you to actually pause the video and try it. So what you need to do is maybe make a spot that says my work for number six, and then make a spot that says correct answer for number six, okay? And you can split it right down the middle if you want. You can organize it however you want. But when you turn in your work for this video, I wanna see your attempt, and then you write down my attempt, because I'm gonna go over the video once you press play again. So they probably all shouldn't be completely identical, because then I would be a little suspicious that you actually tried it on your own. Right. So what I would say now is be honest about this, pause the video, take it anywhere from 15, 20 minutes. If it's taking much more than that, just go right ahead and start pl press play again and I'll show you how to do it. But I do want to see your attempt. Okay. So go ahead, press pause, watch your time. And when you're ready to see me go through the answers, press play again, write down both. Okay. Have fun. Good luck.